Meanwhile, it's also been reported that Weinstein could be prosecuted for rape in the state of Utah, where he allegedly raped actress Rose McGowan way back in 1997. Emily Campagno is an attorney and she joins us tonight. It, so Emily is, as a non-lawyer, my understanding is there's no statute of limitations on rape charges, is that right? It depends on the state. So in 2008, Utah did away with the statute of limitations for rape, and that is why they have a small legal loophole that matters here. They have what's known as absentee tolling. So if someone is accused of a crime in the state of Utah but leaves the state's borders, the statute of limitations stops until, un, until and unless they return to that state. So all that matters here for Weinstein to be able to be prosecuted in that state is that Rose McGowan's case was ripe for prosecution in 2008 when they did away with rape statute of limitations. And because of this absentee tolling, then that's possible. So not only would it be a refreshing relief, frankly, for a state to prosecute him, but it would also be legally sound. Now, there have been constitutional challenges to this, but the Utah Supreme Court has ruled specifically of this pattern, this fact pattern, on behalf of the victim and the DA. And the United States Supreme Court has ruled that this violence against women in state borders is not subject to the Commerce Clause. So that means that co that constitutional arguments on Weinstein's behalf, touching on federalism, that it won't work right. here. It's just civil and corporate precedent. So here it will be sound. So it sounds like he could end up in jail. Could the state of Utah, for example, bring charges against him without the cooperation of Rose McGowan? Would she have to agree to testify against him or could they go ahead anyway? They can go ahead anyway. And you know, of course, historical crimes, as they're called, which are ones in the past, they're difficult to prosecute because there's yeah. witness corroboration that pales in memory and credibility, let alone whether a victim fails to testify. But that being said, you know, a 20-year-old rape is just as deserving of prosecution and punishment as a recent one, and the Utah yeah. DA can absolutely proceed. Boy, this, this is growing in directions I bet he did not expect when that New York Times piece came out. Emily, thank you for that. Thank you.